All right, welcome to Lindy Academy. It is July 31st, 2014. My name is Benny Yao. I'm Sherry Yao. And this, this is, is week five of our series. Of the uh, beginning intermediates. Here's your quick review. We actually had a good uh, a good group today, so we spent a lot of time on technique. It was yep. a lot of fun. Focused attention. So, so follows so technique first. The first thing we talked about is the following, making sure that they have not too loose and not too tight connection right in there in terms of being able to react quickly to what the follow to what the lead is leading. So we don't want to be so quick that we're jumping out of the gun. But we also don't want to lag behind where it feels like they're just dragging our arm. And unfortunately I had a chance to rotate in with all the follows. And definitely want the follows to make the leads work just a little bit more than what they were doing. Uh -huh. So just because I touch you does not mean I want you to stop. I need your momentum, your core momentum, so I can actually redirect you. So the idea is Sherry will keep going until I stop her. Now this push part is actually what we need when we start going into tucks. Touch One, turns. two, tuck. She's actually uh, walking through with that push connection so I can tuck turn her. Okay? And we worked on that tuck turn quite a bit as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, for the guys. It talks about keeping all your footwork and all your timing and using your hips to do more of the leading than your arm. So arm leading, we don't want to push through, pull through. We actually want to hold our hands and stay connected and turn with our hips. Three, four, five. And the reason we want to keep our timing is so our hips stay in sync. So we're both pulsing together, we're both doing our footwork together, and that'll help me lead Sherry, we help my hips lead Sherry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did the whole sequence a couple of times. Guys, keeping all the footwork, keeping a little bit of the bounce pulse. Pulsing down into the ground, not side to side. We had a good social dance question, which was, what happens if this is no longer here in the space? 70% of the time, I'm going to end up about here. And I've already blocked the space out. And social dancing, a lot of the time, or during the time, the space will remain free. So when I get into my move here, I might end up just going right to the same spot. And I'm also looking this way as well. So if I want to come in this direction, I can bring my hip forward. If I don't have room, I'll just turn myself in place, which will turn her in place. All right, and then we went to phrasing. Yes. We talked about 4A count and 6A count phrasing, just very briefly. Uh, by the 3rd A count, if you still feel it staying at level. the same level, that's by 4A count. And if you feel a little bit of a rise, then it goes into On six. Third, eight counts. Oh, and the fifth. So it'll be one, two, three, four, reset, or one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, then reset. reset. And then you can do your freestyling generally. Uh, the fourth spread recipe was on four eight count phrasing. Do the freestyle on your fourth eight count. On the six eight count phrasing, you can do it on. Definitely do it on the sixth one, but you can also do it on the second and the fourth as well. Uh, we went through a demo with that and listened to some music, and that's hard to put onto YouTube. You just have to have been here. Next time, be here. Anything else? I think that's it. Awesome. Thank you. See ya. See you next time.